Nigel Tinsel was no ordinary door-to-door -door salesman. His gifts went beyond selling tiny silverware, for power from above enabled him to become the incredibly stupendous Spoon Man! Do you see me coming? Spoon Man! All the bad guys running! Spoon Man! The spoon is my sword! Spoon Man! I'm walking for the Lord! This looks like a job for... Spoon Man! This is Lulu McSpoon reporting live from Spoontown Hall. We're waiting for the Mayor, Mr. John P. Ladle. Oh, there he is, Mr. Ladle. Mr. Mayor, why should the people of Spoontown vote for you? Because I'm the Mayor that cares, Lulu, the Mayor that cares. Ooh, and have you got any election promises that uh, you're going to be making this year? Well, all I can guarantee is that I will be changing the face of Spoontown forever. Ooh, that's an election promise worth voting for. It's got my vote and I hope it's got yours. Hi, Mum. This is uh, Lulu McSpoon reporting live from Spoon Town. Signing off. Great spoon collection, Wally. Change the face of Spoon Town? Hmm. Why, what sort of promise was that? And why isn't anyone else running for the election? That's right. You know, Wally, my spoon senses tell me that there is something bad stirring in the heart of Spoon Town. Hmm. Yes, Miss Secretary. Uh, make sure I get that list by lunchtime on my desk. I'm gonna miss you. Hello, it's Burntown for the Orientals. Oh, jolly. Good, I, I thought this was the Mayor's office. Uh, no, that's 252, not 525. Oh, sorry. My mistake. <sighs> Hello? Have you got the list? Do you want new releases or weekly specials? No! Ah! Hello, Mayor's Office. We're changing the face of Spoon Town forever. Have you got the list? Oh, it's you. We have to go through with this. I'll have the spoon list by lunchtime. <laughs> it wasn't long before the spoons of Spoon Town started vanishing from everywhere. Will Spoon Man be able to stop this vicious plan to rid Spoon Town of spoons? Or will people be eating soup with a fork? Great spoon collection, Wally! Look at this cereal! It's gone all... soggy! Spoon Man, haven't you got an appointment with the mayor at 9.30? Yes, of course. It's gone all like, like goo. Spoon Man, where's your spoon gone? I don't know, Wally, but maybe I should have just had toast. Well, Spoon Man, at least you have your spoon senses. I'm going to have to report this to the mayor. I mean, what's a breakfast with soggy cereal? And Spoon Town without spoons. Wally, this looks like a job for Spoon Man. Gee, Spoon Man, this breakfast meeting was a great idea. How are you enjoying your soup? Well, thank you, Mayor. It's delicious. But have you noticed that croutons seem to get stuck in the end of the straw? However, have you also noticed that all the spoons seem to be going missing from Spoon Town? Why on earth? It's, it's a... I mean, it's a wonder my spoon senses haven't gone missing too. Thankfully, my anti-theft device was there. Because what would I be called? Man? Just doesn't work. Oh, no! If the mayor tells Spoon Man my plan to rid Spoon Town of its spoons, it will fail! Spoon Man, I've got a confession to make. I've been disloyal to the people of Spoon Town. What? Well, it was the Splayed. The Splayed! He said if I didn't help him get rid of all the spoons in Spoon Town, it's gonna make me lose the election! What? <sighs> Thanks to the mayor's loyalty, Spoon Man knew exactly what he needed to do. He set out to do it right that minute. 
Save Spoontown once and for all from the Splade's nasty tricks. Got rid of all these spoons in Spoontown, eh? The spoon be gone. It's time to call Splade and tell him the truth. One eight hundred Splades are us. <laughs> the game's over, Splade. I've told Spoon Man the truth. I don't want to be disloyal to the people of Spoontown any longer. Well, it's too late, Mr. Mayor. For in thirty seconds, those spoons will be melted. Into Splade! <laughs> you wouldn't! I would! You shouldn't! I should! You couldn't! No, seriously, I'm going to, and look, you've only got 15 seconds now, and they'll all be gone forever! My one press of the black button would have sent them vanishing. Well, just in case I have. One of these, it's a spoon be back. Press the green button and all the spoons in Spoontown will return. Here we go. Spoon Man, you've only got 10 seconds before all the spoons are gone forever. You need to hit the green button. Mm. What? Flat battery? Good thing Wally packed a solar powered spoon be back device. It's automatic and it's wireless, so if we can just capture enough power from the sun to generate power till the spoon be back, why, I think we can do it. Oh, please, God, I hope this works. If I get the right angle, hmm. Two degrees north northeast. That looks good. All right, let's give it a try. It worked! Thanks, God! Wow! You're amazing! This is Lulu McSpoon reporting live from Spoontown, where it's official. The Mayor has been re-elected, and all the spoons have been returned to Spoontown. Mr Mayor, how do you feel on this re-election morning? I feel great! Yep! And it was hell from above that saved the day in the end, Lulu, let me tell you. And I'll tell you one other thing. I've learned a thing or two about loyalty to others. I'll tell you, this mayor, this mayor's gonna be living his life being loyal. Because I'll tell you what, loyalty, that's what you need. And I'm the mayor that's loyal. The people of Spoontown can count on this mayor being loyal. That's one thing for sure. Well, this is Lulu McSoon signing off. But let me just say, that isn't it been a fantastic day? The mayor's re-elected and all the spoons being returned to Spoontown. Loyalty!